What is up guys? So Michael Chandler has been waiting for this Conor McGregor fight for a very long time. It's to the point where I think he's going to come out with a book called Chasing Conor. I'm going to buy it. But anyways, he goes on WWE and pretty much calls out Conor again. Hey, now there's a man from Ireland that's been making me wait for way too long. And I still got one dude on my mind. Is Michael Chandler not perfect for the WWE? I mean, he's always had that type of, you know, character-like vibe in the octagon, and it just fits perfectly in the WWE environment. Conor McGregor, get your candy out. Back to the octagon. We got some unfinished business, boys. God bless. I'll see you at the top. Michael Chandler screaming until you can hear his vocal cords explode as he's just trying to reach Conor. He's trying to find Conor in the midst of all this chaos. He can't find him. Marab, who defeated Henry Cejudo, UFC 298. His coach, Ray Longo, goes on the Anik and Florian podcast and says that Marab did three full rounds with Algernon Sterling right before the fight. I'll tell you something, the, you know, guys do a shakeout before the fight. He literally fought Aljo three rounds, Penny. Like, <laughs> brutal. Little gloves <laughs> one, swinging for the fences. Like Aljo complains about my boxing class sometimes. Go, Aljo, that's way worse what I just saw. Dude, they went at it three fives. He had so that's his second fight of the night. I'm not <laughs> Kenny, that's a fact. That's not even made up. And you know, you I believe check, you, man. You could check with John Wood, you could check with with uh with uh Aljo. Full phone, full blown fight aljo's i go aljo your cardio looks pretty good we we're in good shape You'll fight that's in like two months three full rounds before a fight is insane but that's going to be it for this one guys make sure you comment in the comments below tell me how you feel and i'll see you guys on the next one